Okay, in this video I'm going to be covering the process on how to upgrade the firmware in your FreeSky R9M module. And um, this isn't going to be a uh, full review, so it's just going to be the firmware update process. I just got this, and this is uh, typically what you want to do when you first get something like a product like this. It's kind of new. They're going to be putting out some firmware updates pretty quickly, and in sort of like, um, I guess, uh, at high frequency levels. So there were, I think, a couple of updates that came out for this module uh, earlier this month. So what you want to do is you want to go to the FreeSky website and go to their download section and find the section on the modules and then you can go click on to the um, R9M module and then you'll see a section called firmware. You want to click on that and then you'll see the dated firmware. Now at the time of this video uh, the, I think the latest uh, for the US is like uh, July 29th, something like that. And There's a more recent version for the um, EU and that's only for the EU. So of course if you're watching this video in the future uh, that section might have changed and you might have even newer firmware available. Uh, so what you want to do is just go ahead and download whatever the latest firmware is for the area that you're in and then save it to your computer. And then on your Tyrannus, so of course you want to have the module in the module bay. And then on the Tyrannus you want to uh, get that firmware onto the micro SD card. Now you could pop out the micro SD card if you want. Uh, what most people do is they just go into the bootloader mode uh, basically put two side trims in like so and then power it on and then you're going to get this bootloader mode and all you have to do is then just plug in your USB cable from your computer. This is a little mini USB cable here in this in this particular Tyrannus and then um, it'll, basically the the uh, micro SD card will show up as a drive letter on your computer and then what you do is the file that you downloaded from the um, Tyrannus website, you're going to go into that zip file, download the, or extract out the firmware file, the bin file, and you're going to copy it to the firmware folder on the uh, micro SD card inside the Tyrannus. And then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and power down the Tyrannus and power it back on. Welcome to OpenTX. Oh, and by the way, uh, you should be on the latest OpenTX for whatever uh, radio you have. Obviously, you can go and get that from the FreeSky website as well. Um, this video is, I'm not going to cover the uh, topic of upgrading your firmware and your radio. There's lots of videos on that, and they're going to vary by radio models, so you should probably search YouTube for your particular radio. Make sure you're on 2.2.2 or whatever the latest version is, uh, so that everything will match up between the radio and the module. Okay, so once you've got your radio powered on, you want to hold, press and hold this center menu button here. You go into radio setup, hit the page button once. You're going to uh, get to the second page here, which is going to be the contents of the micro SD card. You want to scroll down to firmware, click on that. And you want to find the firmware that you have downloaded uh, for the module. In this case, I believe it's this one here, R9M. In this case, I'm, I'm in the US, it's FCC, and this is the the, the reversion number and uh, I have some other stuff in here for some of the receivers etc ignore that this is the one you want for this module and, and of course if you put that in the correct place you'll find this here inside the firmware folder this is where you should have put it and then what you want to do is you want to press and hold the button and then here it was very important you want to select flash external module and then hit enter and then it'll start writing. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. But that's how you do it. And then at that point, it will uh, stop. You can shut down the radio, and you'll be on the latest firmware for your R9M module. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video on updating the firmware for the R9M module. I'll have another video later updating the firmware on the R9 Slim receiver and also the R9 Mini receiver. Those will be separate videos down the road. But there will be more of these videos coming out on this particular system, the 900 megahertz system from FreeSky. And of course, obviously, some long-range videos at some point in the future. Anyway, guys, hope you found this video helpful, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.